Hello, everyone. So once the interviewer has asked you the basic questions, he's going to move into more technical questions in terms of how the attacker moves once he has enough information about your environment, at least from the external perspective. So the first question that I would ask somebody would be the, what is the lateral movement? Because once the attacker is inside your network already through any vulnerability that he has exploited, it could be some phishing email, it could be some loop in your uh, configurations on the firewall or any other thing, or maybe the exchange server. But once he is inside the environment, naturally, what would you think he would do? If I was an attacker, I would make sure that as soon as I am inside, I have the foothold inside the network. I have a backdoor inside the network that even if somebody detects my presence, I should have that particular backdoor so that I can come back inside. It could be a rootkit. It could be some other shell that I plant in, inside the network. The second thing I'm going to do is before I get detected, is to move inside the network. For example, I managed to compromise the initial workstation through some fish, phishing email. Now that workstation is not going to be very useful for me. What I need to know, do is from that workstation, move to the other workstations and then to the servers and then to the highly prized environment maybe in the DMZ, maybe in the web servers, maybe in the Active Directory, totally depends on the, the goal of the attacker. Where does he want to go? If he's looking for the credit cards, if he's looking for the passwords, if he's looking to compromise the whole network, totally depends on the motive. But this movement from one endpoint to another, another endpoint and then to the other server or any other machine within the network is called lateral movement. Attacker is already inside. Now attacker is trying to look beyond that particular first patient. This first machine that was compromised is called patient zero because that's where the infection of your environment is getting started. And once you have a compromised machine, the attacker is going to move into your network from one step to another, from one machine to another trying to compromise as many machines as possible, trying to escalate his level of privileges from a, maybe a user account to a domain account to administrators of the servers, trying to gather as much as power that he can get. So this all movement is called lateral movement. I hope that explanation is helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you so much.